my friends, advocates, clients from all over the world. Today, we have the great pleasure having with us uh, to Mr. Emilio Petrucci from the company Elasis. He is the founder and CEO of such a prestigious company in Italy. And today we are going to talk about several topics, but um, more important about his projects that are looking forward to impact the environment. Welcome with us, Emilio. Good morning. Thank you, Ramon, for inviting me and having me uh, on this special occasion to share our project with you and the audience. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I do understand that you are a, um, not a politician, but a political science, scientist. Yes. And that, uh, that is working in the hemp industry. How did you end up in the hemp industry, my brother? Well, uh, there were some messages around uh, all, uh, all my, my life that it was calling me to do something and maybe to use uh, cannabis, but I didn't know how. Then uh, I discovered with my colleagues and co-founders, Claudio and Luca, that uh, hemp and cannabis could be used also to uh, decontaminate, to clean, to phytoremediate land, soil, and air from uh, heavy metals and CO2. And then we thought, okay, we can use this maybe to transform the industrial uh, supply chain because we live in Terni. Terni is one of the 40 most polluted cities in Italy. And we all have lost someone for a disease caused for uh, environmental contamination. So we were scared to die. We, we look at each other and we told that, we have to do something. We don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to see my brother, my mom die for, for what? So we were really scared. And then we start the company and, uh, and sharing activities and discovering cannabis every day long since 10 years now. 2021, yes, 10 years. We begin in 2011. With a motivation of such a powerful statement, I believe that you must have a lot of um, uh, forces against, against what you're intending to do. The prohibition must be chasing you somehow. Yes, in the first years, it was chasing us by the cultural side. So, you know, cannabis, marijuana is toxic, it's dangerous, you go crazy, and uh, excluding totally the, the industrial area. So now that we're focusing on uh, how to transform a plant into a computer or into steel or into clothes, uh, now we, we are facing a new kind of prohibition. So the industrial prohibition, the, the ones who uh, living here, Terni, uh, it has one of the biggest uh, uh, steel factories and petrochemical plants of, the, of all Europe. Uh, and, and it's been here for 150 years. So, in, and it's two thirds of the city. So imagine all around. So, ah, they are the guys that want to steal our job. They want to uh, close the steel factory. They want to close the petrochemical plant. We don't want to close and to, to do nothing like that. We want to regenerate, to give the chance to use other products, other prime materials to transform it in plastics and steel and increase the value because our region is decreasing of value and increasing of contamination. That's not good. Oh, no good at all. But I do understand from previous talk that you are working in a marvelous project that, uh, that involves the recycling material using also cannabis. Please uh, tell us a little bit of, about that, my man. Yes, as you, as you saw in the last years in Italy, the market of the CBD flower has bloomed uh, everywhere. Now in Europe has bloomed all around the, the, the European Union. So what it happens with all this flower uh, production, uh, the, the farmers, they have a lot of waste, a lot of waste that is, cannot be used for uh, uh, textiles or fibers or anything, anything else. So now we are using a, a new technology that is uh, owned by a colleague of us that he's using for another kind of materials. And uh, we are using that to separate and uh, micronize 
uh, hemp waste. In that way, we, we, we are able to have a, 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 powder, a, can, a powder of waste of cannabis that it can be mixed with rubber, steel, graphite, or anything else, and can be used to mix and produce other materials. So, and uh, the, the products that came uh, from the other separation are all products coming from a supply chain of waste range. So it, they are materials that in other ways that uh, you never be uh, use it again. Now we can use it again and transform it in many other things and give to the, to the cannabis a position in the market of technology very, very different from what it was before. But Emilio, with a technology like this, basically you are placing the foundations of a circular economy is, a, is to use the materials over and over and over because you use it, you pulverize it, you mix it again with hemp and there it goes. So this is a revolution what you're doing over there. I'm happy to be a part of it. Uh, I'm proud to be working with people that have the same vision that I have, and that they have invested many, many hours and time of their lives to create this, this, these processes. Now, together, we have the numbers, we have the technology, and we have also the, um, the vision and the uh, emotion, uh, emotions that drive us through, the, through this journey that are concrete, real and it can be a, a, a real change right now. It is the right moment, I think. Emilio, do you have any particular message to your local governments or to our English speakers audience around the world? Well, uh, I'm uh, really happy to share uh, my journey with you and uh, to keep working on that. Uh, you said before that uh, we work uh, on a political, a political science and it means that we love cooperation. We want to cooperate to develop together between nations, between Colombia, where I was born, between Thailand, where we, we, I lived for many years, and now they're growing uh, the cannabis industry. We want to share together on a, on a multi-platform of uh, development technologies uh, that we want to increase every day, every hour, every minute, because that is the pace that this circular economy revolution is, is dragging us down. Uh, one thing that I believe in is um, uh, that change is possible. Three years ago, uh, on a national meeting, they told us, uh, the industrial side, that one of the big industrial parties in Italy, that it was impossible to do something like that. Well, three years has passed. We have the powder. What are we going to do? We're going to transform the world and somehow I hope that hemp engineering helps us a bridge to connect all those dots around the world and we are going to make the impossible possible. Absolutely. Thank you, Emilio. Once again, we're going to be in touch and gracias. Gracias a ti. Thank you very much.